Josh here. We're going to be doing this historical back with another Black Powder Epic Battles ACW update. So in the last hobby vlog, I talked about uh, the direction I was going in terms of getting set up for play. Uh, today is just an update on what I've worked on and it's not going to be a very long one. Uh, it does look like I have more on the table, but really the painting is uh, taking me some time because obviously not a great painter. So I'm just painting them as best as I can. Again, these aren't going to be perfect. Uh, but because they're going to be three feet away on the table, uh, you're not going to notice all the, the bad painting that I've done on these figures. But in any case, I wanted to show off my progress. Here's what I have. I have most of one regiment out of the Union Brigade box done. I'll have two more regiments that I will need to complete, and that will be uh, it for the infantry. This last stand is in process. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just slapping paint onto these guys so that they won't be great plastic. So they're not a fantastic looking bunch. This is the second stand. Yeah, I have a hard time uh, painting even just the beards on these guys. So really, um, they're not going to look perfect on the table, but I don't think it'll matter too much since they will be so far away. All right. All right, so next up back here, I've started work on the battery of artillery. So I have this uh, cannon almost painted, this one primed, and this one assembled. Not a lot to talk about there. Um, let me just bring this up a little bit. And, uh, as you can see, it's not a perfect paint job, but it will do on the table. Then all I have to do on this and the regiment is the basing and it'll look better. So I'm just gonna add grass and mud and all that fun stuff, so. All right, next up are the commanders. As you know, from last time I have one completed. I have one here that is based partially and primed gray and then the other one assembled. So uh, that's it for the commanders. However, the main impetus besides showing off uh, most of a regiment and some of the other stuff, is to show what I've done with the general stands that I've created. All right, here are my first set of general stands, and thanks to Mark at Kitchen Wargamers for sending me uh, both the resin versions of Robert E. Lee and George Mead. Um, I have a way of having more generals that I can use. Uh, obviously, my um, copies of Robert E. Lee and George Meade will be used as different commanders, different generals from the Confederacy and the Union. Um, and the fact that I have four uh, flag bearers uh, will allow me to do that uh, the way that I want to. So I ended up going with the resin Robert E. Lee, who has his cap or his hat um, off, urging his soldiers to move forward, as well as a standard bearer here. And then I have Ulysses S. Grant and the flag bearer here. So uh, with these guys out of the way, my plans are um, I still have George Meade and I still have Stonewall Jackson. I am going to put the remaining flag bearers with those guys uh, and have them on 50 millimeter uh, stands like this. And then I will have Stonewall Jackson and the other George Meade, the copy, um, the other copy of George Meade uh, set up as a different general but based singly and then the copy of Robert E. Lee with his head on will also be based singly and be a different general. So, um, and in fact, depending on uh, the way you paint them, it could be anybody. So let's say the other Robert E. Lee with the hat on, I can paint him uh, to look like uh, Longstreet or another Confederate general. And then the uh, other George Meade uh, copy, I, I will have to pick another uh, general. Uh, but again, we'll denote that they're based singly and uh, that'll give be a different type of commander for, for the army, different general. So that is what I have. Let me zoom back out here. So um, my plans uh, for this, for the next update is to complete uh, this regiment and hopefully get a good leg up on the second regiment. I really just need to push forward and complete that entire brigade box so I can start working on the Confederate brigade box. And once those two boxes are done and my generals are painted, then I could do a small uh, black powder battle report for epic 
Battles ACW, uh, which will get these figures on the field finally and get some black powder on the channel, which was my in intention uh, for a long time. Um, after that, I have the cavalry box to work on. And uh, my plan for that, after asking advice from some folks, is to make two regiments, I guess, or squadrons, two full squadrons, one each for the Confederates, and then the remainder I could split up and make two smaller squadrons of cavalry for each side, and then I'll have that available to me. So I'll have one full regiment or squadron of Confederate cavalry, one full squadron or regiment of Union cavalry, and then two half squadrons, one for each side, and that'll um, allow me to push that box a little bit further, because I'm not sure if I'm willing to buy another box of cavalry at this point, uh, what I really need to do, and that's to be honest, is to buy more brigades. At least mirror what we have, or what is available in the two-player starter, which was, I believe, two brigades each. Uh, that'll give you a lot of artillery, a lot of commanders, and then obviously a ton of regiments. Uh, and then, obviously, then after that, I'm going to work on getting the scenery that... The scenery that Mark from Get Your Wargamer sent me, um, and then we'll be able to do a battle report. So that that's the plan. Hopefully, in the next month or so, that's that's the direction that we're going to go. So, that being said, I, I'm kind of on the fence about epic battles, Napoleonics or Waterloo. Those figures look great. Um, the the individual box sets are are just as um, makes it a lot easier to get into it if you don't want to pull for one of the two mega starters that they have for the British and the French then you got the Prussians coming so uh, the only reason why I'm hesitant to get into Epic Battles Waterloo is because I already am heavily invested in 28 millimeter and I'm trying to get that done so we can have a proper uh, 28 millimeter black powder battle report uh, being completed moving forward so I don't know. I'm getting itchy fingers. I want to. I want to buy at least a brigade box each of the British, and the French, and the Prussians once they arrive. Hopefully, this also means that they're going to do Austrians, Russians, and other nations uh, for epic battles Waterloo. Uh, but it's also my hope that they will continue to make releases for the ACW epic battles because um, obviously that is the. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do in terms of the epic battles scale. So Anyway, that is it. If you like this video, go ahead and click like if you haven't subscribed to the channel I appreciate it. if you would click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new uh, Hobby vlog coming out of the channel, especially about epic battles ACW And then click the link in the description below to join our discord server That is the best way I can personally interact with you and chit chat you about black powder epic battles ACW and any other game that we cover on the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming Noob Historical.